Hi, in this episode, we're going to talk about treatment options that are available. If the female partner is normal and the male partner's assessment are all normal, then we will start off a medication called clomiphene citrate. These tablets have been around since 1961. It functions by increasing the follicular stimulating hormone. It stimulates the eggs to grow. We start this medication on the second day of the menstrual cycle right up to the sixth day. It's taken for five days. The doses between 50 to 150 mg per day. We'll ask the woman to come back around the 10th to the 15th day of the cycle to do an ultrasound scan. And that way, we can assess her response. If the egg has reached a size of more than 18 mm, then we know that she has responded well. At that time, we can give her a few options where we can have intercourse more frequently during that time, or we can overlay the egg by giving them a HCG injection. You can try this method between 3 to 6 months and if it fails, then you have to move on to other methods. The second method is known as the intrauterine insemination. The female partner again is given some medication to get the eggs to grow. It can be in the form of oral tablets known as clomiphene citrate or letrozole. We can also give her some injections which are known as the follicular stimulating hormone to get the eggs to grow. And again, between 10, day 10 to day 15, We'll examine them and we'll determine whether the eggs have responded or not. Once the eggs have reached more than 18 mm and above, then we'll give them an injection to overlay the egg. 36 hours or 40 hours later, we'll get the husband to produce his sperms in the clinic. We'll process the sperms, concentrate it, and then inject it directly into the womb. In this way, the sperms will have less work to do and we'll be able to fertilize the eggs in the fallopian tubes. This method, the intrauterine insemination, can be used between two to three times. And if it fails, then we have to go to the next step, which is known as the in vitro fertilization or IVF, also known as test tube babies. Here, we'll give injections about 10 days to the female partner to get the eggs to grow. We'll get them in the clinic after the fifth day and the tenth day of injections to assess the response. Once the eggs have reached 17 mm and above, then we'll give them a trigger injection for the final maturation of the egg in the form of a HCG. Between 32 to 36 hours later, we will give them anesthesia by a transvaginal ultrasound scan and a very sharp needle. We will aspirate all the eggs one by one. At the same time, the embryologist will assess the egg and the same day, the male partner will have to produce his sperm sample which be used to inseminate all the eggs. As for the male partner, they left to produce their semen sample on the same day, three to five days after abstinence. We prefer the fresh sperm samples. However, some husbands have issues where they're unable to produce a sperm sample due to logistic reasons, or they have very poor sperm sample where they had to undergo surgical aspiration of the sperms. Then those sperms will be frozen at an earlier date. So, the wife can come in to retrieve her eggs and we can use the frozen sperms to inseminate the eggs then. The eggs are fertilised or inseminated by a few methods. One of the commonest methods that is used is known as intracytoplasmic sperm injection. This procedure is done if the sperm quality is very poor or it was cryopreserved, either for, as I mentioned, logistic reasons or it was a surgically aspirated sperm. All the processes will be done in the lab where the eggs and the sperms will be inseminated together and the embryos will be cultured in the lab. We prefer to culture them to a day 5, which is, which is known as a blastocyst because the day 5 embryos have an increase in the probability of having a successful cycle. The embryo transfer is done in the same procedure room as where, where we aspirated the eggs. We use a very fine catheter, a tube where we load the embryos into the tube and we transfer into the womb. We generally put in one or two embryos. Go on the days when we put three embryos. We are trying our best to reduce the probability of multiple pregnancies. After the transfer, the female partner will have to use medication to make a womb more favourable for a pregnancy. That medication is known as the progesterone, either in the form of tablets, pessaries or even injections. And then the wait starts. She has to rest at home, reduce any strenuous activity and basically continue the medication. 
Two weeks later, she will come into the clinic to do her blood test, known as a beta HCG, and that will determine whether she's successful or not. If there are any questions about the procedures, be it the clomiphene citrate, intratrine insemination, or the in vitro fertilization, kindly put a comment below. Thank you.